just like a rose from the concrete. Fuck. Valley of death, no palm trees. Fuck. Yeah, how it works, that's what I speak. Yeah. Trying to revive the dead like an IV. Yeah. Just like a farmer, I just plant seeds. Life. Tell the harvest right and let the Lord reap. Christ. They shrunk us up and hung us on trees. Damn. Now we get the earth in the seven yeah. seas. Kingdom seek is heavenly. Gospel what I'm peddling. When you at war, ain't no need for no pleasantries. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all, what y'all think about this sign? Come here, come here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, y'all don't run off without reading the sign properly. Read the sign properly. Look, we not we not elementary kids where we read with, with the pictures and not the words, all right? Let's read the words, not the picture. That's right. Read the words, not the picture. All right. What it say? What it say, y'all? Okay, do you agree with that? You're not sure? So why you run off like that? Like it was like a like a demon for real. The horns, okay, so you thought this was Jesus before you read this? Without the horns, that's Jesus right there? Let's read the Bible. Y'all, so you see this, this, this scripture right here, right? It says Revelation 1 and 14. Y'all see that? On the right side of it? Revelation 1 and 14. We finna go read that. And we gonna compare this image to what the Bible say. Because that's what we supposed to know how Christ actually looks out the Bible, right? Okay, cool. So is this the, this the image in the Bible? No, so y'all shouldn't trip on the horns. Because this ain't Jesus, right? Let's read. That's not even his name. Exactly. She got some knowledge, man. Read. Book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Go ahead. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who got woolly hair? What is woolly? What, what does woolly hair look like? Like curly, coarse, right? Yeah, right? Like who? Like who's hair? Us, right? Right. There you go. That's woolly hair right there, right? There you go, right? It's some woolly hair out here, right? It says white like wool. Go ahead. As white as snow. Okay, so let's look at this image with the horns on it. Does this have white woolly hair? No. Okay, cool. Okay, so, so y'all get where we going with this now? Cool, Ben. Keep going. As white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. The Bible says Christ's feet were like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Okay, what color is brass? Brown, right? Copper, right? Brass, copper, right? Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. Is what? As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. You put anything in a furnace, it come out what? Oh, okay, dark skin, right? So it just said Christ was dark skin. So who is this guy? That's not that. Now you see, you can't be just running off. Oh, let's get up out of here. He's supposed to tweak it, right? Let's get the proper understanding, right? You understand? Say, so judge not according to the appearance. But judge the righteous judge. You understand? Right? Y'all believe in the Bible, huh? Yeah. What parts of the Bible y'all believe in? Where y'all from? You from where? Philly? You from here? Where you Where you from? What's your ethnic background? What's your what's your dad? Jamaican, okay. What's your dad? I'm asking you what your dad is. Your dad's black, okay. Your dad Jamaican, your dad black. What's your dad? Mexican, all praise. Y'all see all these diff three different tribes right here. Wow. Right through the spirit of power, right? You got a black father. So you, you know who you are in the Bible according to who your father is. Right? You from the tribe of Judah. You know what tribe you from? You from the tribe of Benjamin. Your dad is Jamaican, right? You said, right? So you see Benjamin, the Commonwealth, and Dutch Caribbean. So the people of the Caribbean actually come from the man Benjamin. So you from the tribe of Judah, you from the tribe of Benjamin. You... With a, with a Mexican father, come from the tribe of Issachar. You see at the bottom right there? Right? right? So if you have a, a father of indigenous descent, of Aztec descent, right, you will be from the tribe of Issachar in the Bible. Okay? All three of you all, beautiful sisters, come from the tribes of Israel. Okay? Y'all are Israelites. Right? You knew that. Right? You been teaching them that? You wrong. <laughs> oh, she was going to say no fast. Yeah, hold on. Like, let, me not, let me not put that on me right. Why you even teaching them that they Israelites? Okay, what, through school? Okay, what school y'all go to? Spray Bear. Spray Bear, where is that? Okay, cool, 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 cool. So yeah, so this, this is a perfect time for y'all to start learning the truth of who y'all are. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, but you gotta put, put these folks on point. What's up, brother? What's up, you, you know them? No. Oh, okay. I mean, we're, we're in a conversation, though. You walked off, you know? 
I was trying to talk to you. You walked off. No, but you started talking to them. Well, well, I was just trying. You didn't have to walk off, though. Yeah, we ain't arguing. I'm just trying to say. I'm just trying. Look, look, brother. If you want, if you want to talk, brother, you can just wait to the conversation though. I have no problem with you talking to them. I, I just advise wait to the conversation though, right? Because you would seem like the devil who take the word away immediately, right? We don't want you to be there, brother. Why are you walking off? Right? It's not for everybody. You see that? That's crazy. That's all it was, <laughs> man. You know. Right, y'all know y'all got you. Your dad told you you gotta keep the laws of God. Uh, well, not what you mean? Okay, okay. So, we, so y'all getting there, right? So, what your pops? What's his ideology like? He he's an Israelite. Yes. Okay, he keep the laws. Like yo, do you eat pork? No. Do you eat pork? You name one of y'all eat pork? The chorizo, he's in the chorizo. <laughs> ah, I look past that. Go to Lord, go to Leviticus eleven. Let me show y'all something, right? You know Christ said y'all got to keep the laws of God? Y'all know that to get salvation, y'all got to believe in Christ and keep the laws of God, right? You know, a part of keeping the laws of God is letting go of pork, letting go of shellfish, you know, shrimp, crab, lobster, oysters, all that type. Y'all know that? Y'all, that's good. That's good. Read this. Book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Go ahead. And the swine. He said swine. Y'all know what swine is. That chorizo, right? That pastor, right? <laughs> Right, and the swine, go ahead. Though he divide the hook uh -huh. and be cloven footed, right. yet he cheweth not the cut. Go ahead. He is unclean to you. What is the swine? Unclean. Unclean. What did it mean? Go ahead. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. You say what? Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Can't eat the flesh, go ahead. And their carcass uh -huh. shall ye not touch. Can't even touch their dead body, right? So you don't even want to put your hands on Pork so filthy, you don't even want to put your hands on it. Let alone put it in your body. Y'all understand? Right? Everything in the Bible, when you deal with the laws of God, y'all have to start implementing them into y'all's life. On a serious note, right? Give me Acts 3 and 19. Right? It's important for us. That's what repentance. Y'all know what repentance is? Right? What is repentance? Like basically, like surrendering to the Lord. Okay. Okay. That's the stuff. Right. 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 So you ask for forgiveness for sins, right? So when you repent, you acknowledge your wrongdoings. Yeah. There you go. Boom. You acknowledge your wrongdoings and agree to the terms that you won't do it again. Right. That's what real repentance is. Not, oh, forgive me, and then going and constantly doing it. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Okay. Acts chapter three and verse nineteen. Go ahead. Repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. Right, because your repentance should come with a form of conversion. Meaning what? However you were behaving prior to you repenting, right? After you repent, it should be some type of conversion in your behaviors. Right? Means you're not acting the same no more. Right? Certain things you can keep, other things that you find out is against against God and what God deems is righteous, you gotta turn away from it. Right? right. right? Go ahead. Repent ye, therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. What converts you? How do y'all think y'all are converted? Like, what, what do you think is the proper way to convert? What you mean? Like, how do you be converted? It says repent and be converted. How do you get converted? Okay, how do we, where do we find those things? Let's find out. Go ahead. You got Psalm 19? Yeah, I got you right here. Go ahead, read. Look at Psalm 19, verse 7. It's going to tell you how to be converted, okay? Go ahead. The law of the Lord is perfect. It says what? The law of the Lord is perfect. So what are we talking about? The law of the Lord, right? The same place you just read, Leviticus 11, I mean, uh, and 7, not to eat swine. That's a part of the law of the Lord. Right. It said that law is perfect, right? Go ahead. Converting the soul. What does it do? Converting the soul. What does the law of the Lord do? Convert the soul. So if you want to be converted, what do you got to do? To what? Read again. There you go. Read again. Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. There you go. The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh huh. Converting the soul. So what converts the soul? The law of the Lord. Boom. Right? So when you go back to Acts 3, when it says repent and be converted, it's saying repent, acknowledge your sins, right? And start keeping the laws of God. Right. Y'all see that? Right? Go ahead. Now they sit on it. Yeah, Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. Go ahead. 
that your sins may be blotted out. Because once you are converted, once you start keeping the laws, that's when he'll actually blot out your sins. You see what I'm saying? But if you just, you say, I repented, and then, you know, you might get dumped in a pool or something like that. You come out, you're still doing the same thing. That's not real conversion. You see what I'm saying? The Most High is not dealing with a person just getting dipped in a kiddie pool, coming out, and still being the same person. That's right. right? You, you got to... You take baths all the time. Right. We take, yeah, exactly. You get dipped in water every day. Hopefully, you see what I'm saying, right? So when you so when you deal with the cleansing, when you deal with the real cleansing of a person, it's dealing with the cleansing of their spirit, the cleansing of their mind, right? That's what their conversion looks like, right? Go ahead. That your sins may be blotted out. Go ahead. When the times of refreshing shall come. Yeah, because the, the world is about to be refreshed, right? All the wickedness in the earth, right? All the things that's going on on the earth and how it's going to be destroyed there's going to be a refreshing too where righteousness is going to rule you see what i'm saying so the refreshing you will want to be on the on the part and the end of the people who get saved before the destruction so when the refreshing comes y'all on the upper end you see what i'm saying y'all understand cool go ahead when the times of refreshing shall come uh -huh. from the presence of the lord from the presence of the lord you got that with psalm 119 God. verse 9 this is the book of psalms chapter 119 and verse 9 go ahead Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Right, so the, the Bible, right, said wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way. But when it says man, the Bible speaks in a masculine tone, but it's really talking about our people. You see what I'm saying? So when it says wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way, it's really talking about well, how can humans, how do humans clean their way? Right, specifically the people on this side, the Israelites, right? How do Israelites clean their way? Go ahead. By taking heed there too according to thy word you see that the way you cleanse yourself the way you cleanse the way you become converted is taking heed to the words you see what i'm saying the words i found all through this book right you finished no, no, this morning yeah. go ahead verse 10 with my whole heart uh -huh. have i sought thee uh -huh. oh let me not wander from thy commandments exactly you see that let me not wander from thy commandments so in order for me to be cleansed i have to turn to his commandments and keep them wholeheartedly Right? So that means what? No more hypocrisy. If I know what's good, I know where to find the good, I go read the good, I start implementing the good in my life. Right? Y'all understand? Any questions? Y'all got any questions? Y'all understand what's going on over here? Y'all believe in the Bible too? Yeah? Y'all yeah. all in school together? Nah, nah, okay, I'll pray. I'll pray. Y'all know about the Israelites? Y'all ever heard of the Israelites? Yeah. What you know about the Israelites, brother? Hey, y'all, hey, follow the, uh, the YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay, I'll praise. I'll praise. Right. What y'all know about the Israelites? We the Israelites, right? You know what you got to do to be an Israelite? Well, once you know you're an Israelite, Deuteronomy ten and twelve. Go ahead, you can do this. What is that? YouTube or I'll praise. Deuteronomy chapter ten and verse twelve. Go ahead. And now Israel. Because it's one thing to be it, and one thing to know it. It's one thing to do it. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Thank you. So, Go ahead, man. And now, Israel, yeah, who did the Lord thy God require of thee? Right, go ahead. But to fear the Lord it thy God. It says Israel, right? So, here you go, so yeah. It says Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of you? So like I said, it's one thing to know you're Israelite, but it's another thing to be actually operating under the requirements of the men of Israel. You see what I'm saying, brother? Go ahead. Require, require of thee. Go ahead. To walk in all his ways. It says to what? To walk in all his ways. So as an Israelite man, you got to be walking in all the ways of God, not just knowing them. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And to love him. Go ahead. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart Go ahead. and with all thy soul. Go ahead. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Say what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Keep the commandments of the Lord. So the, God, the Lord God requires you to keep his commandments. If you're an Israelite, you're required to keep the commandments of God. You understand that, brother? You know where to find the commandments of God? Nah, you ever heard of the Torah? What's the Torah? Okay, it was written before the Quran, but what is it though? The Book of Laws, right? Where do you find it? Uh, you find the Torah in the first five books of the Bible, right? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, right? That's where you find the Torah, right? So when you deal with keeping the commandments of the Lord, now you have one thing when you deal with just the Torah right here, the first five books, and then you have to implement also the words of Christ, right? So the words of Christ are actually deemed Torah too.
You see what I'm saying? He's our teacher too. He's one of the people who we have to look at his words and say, okay, everything he said, I got to do it too. Right. You understand, brother? So it's not just the words of Moses. Right? Give me that in uh, John 5. Right? John 5 and 46. Let me show you something. That's a lot. This book of John, chapter 5, verse 46. Go ahead. For had ye believed Moses. Start it with verse 45. Verse 45. Do not, John chapter 5, verse 45. Go do ahead. not think that I will accuse you uh -huh. to the Father. Uh -huh. There is one that accuses you. Go ahead. Even Moses, right. in whom you trust. Go ahead. For had ye believed Moses. It says what? For had ye believed Moses, Go ahead. you would have believed you can, me. You can, you can do it real quick. It says, for if you had believed Moses, you would have believed him. Right? Because why? For he wrote of me. You see that? Go ahead. But if you believe not his writing, if you would believe not his writing, so you have to believe Moses' writing to even have a, a legitimacy in believing in Yahweh or Christ's writings. You understand, brother? Right? Say so if you had not believed his writings, go ahead. How shall you believe my words? Right? Because people try to say all you need is the New Testament. The Old Testament don't matter. Right? But Christ just said, how can you believe my words if you don't believe Moses? Right. You see that? So you got a couple Moses with Christ and all the stuff in between too. You see what I'm saying, brother? And these are the things that we need to implement in order for us to get out of this situation we're in as a people, right? Because you look at our people, you see the destruction that goes on in our people, right? You see the, like, the downtrodden nature, right? The oppression that we suffer, right? But do we suffer from oppression, right? right? How do we get out of it? Right? How do we become great like we used to be? You know how people are talking about all these great kingdoms we used to have, right? All these great kingdoms of West Africa, Right? All these great kingdoms, are, they, they talk about Egypt and all these places. Okay, cool, but y'all don't have those kingdoms now. Right? Y'all are, are oppressed in America right now. You see what I'm saying? So if we, being the Israelites, had the, the, one of the greatest kingdoms under King David and King Solomon, right? How do we get back to that point? Boy, I can't even have this. I got all these fruit juice and stuff right now. Right? But it said, I'm, I'm asking, how, how do we get back to that? You see what I'm saying? Do you know? You said what? There you go, brother. It's real simple. Give me that uh, First Kings eight. Oh, you, you had some? No, it's not probably responsive. Okay, cool. <laughs> first Kings eight started verse yeah, 40, 48. Look at First Kings chapter yeah. eight verse forty-eight. Go ahead. Started verse forty-seven. Verse forty-seven. Yes, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives. So right, we're in the land where we were carried captives, right? We're in the land of our captivity, you agree? Right, so it says if you bethink yourself, what do you think the word bethink means? Bethink means to like remember, right? To use your, your brain to come to a conclusion, right? To remember, right? So if you remember yourself, which is what we're doing here, right? We're finding out that we're the true children of Israel, right? We're finding out our responsibilities, our requirements, right? If you bethink yourselves in the land of your captivity, right? Go ahead. And repent. And repent, right? You just heard the conversation about repentance. Y'all brothers keep the laws of God, man. All right, and faith in Christ. All right, go ahead. And make supplication unto thee go ahead. in the land of them that carry them that carry them captive, uh -huh. saying, We have sinned. Right, acknowledge our wrongdoings, right? We gotta as, as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans time for us to acknowledge our wrongdoings and come back to the laws of God. Right? Go ahead. We have sinned and have done perversely. Uh-huh. We have committed wickedness. Go ahead. And so return unto thee with all their heart. Uh-huh. And with all their soul. Go ahead. And in the land of their enemies. Right. Which led them away captive. So once we start acting like we're supposed to act in the land of our captivity, right? The, where we are, we are responsible for beginning to act like we're supposed to act. Right? Go ahead. And pray unto thee toward their land. Right. Which thou great which thou gave us unto their father. Right, so this is saying, what? when you pray, you got to pray towards Jerusalem. Did you know that? Got to pray towards the east. You ever heard that? Yeah, right? You probably heard that from a Muslim, right? But in reality, that's a biblical concept that they took from us. You see what I'm saying? We knew we had to pray towards the place where the Lord appointed. You see what I'm saying? Which is Jerusalem, right? Go ahead. The city which thou hast chosen. Go ahead. And the house which I have built for thy name. Go ahead. Then 
hear thou their prayers. Right. Once we're in, once we've been through slavery, we start to remember who we are, start to behave like we're supposed to behave. It says, "What well, then? You should start hearing their prayers." The only time our prayers are going to be heard as a nation is when we all start, well, as, as, most, as, as many of us as possible, start behaving in accordance, in accordance to what the, the Lord expects out of us. You understand?